Hello, friends. Welcome to the Wake Up With Gratitude podcast. I'm your host, Julie Boye, and we're doing a very special event for the month of November. Every day, I'm sharing with you a different way to practice gratitude, as November is traditionally known as the month of gratitude. As we spend these last 10 days together, I encourage you to look back on what you've learned about gratitude this month and ask yourself, which of these gratitude practices do I want to incorporate into my life going forward? I do have a favor to ask. If you've been following along over the past few weeks and have gained something from these episodes, would you take a quick moment and give the show a rating? You can give the podcast a five-star rating through the Apple Podcast app on your iPhone. Or if you're using Spotify, all you have to do is click right on the front screen of the podcast and give it a rating there as well. Thanks so much for taking time to rate the podcast. Now let's start today's gratitude episode. As we approach the Thanksgiving holiday and the holiday season, let's talk about a few ways that we can celebrate gratitude and practice gratitude before the holidays are upon us. Often when we're doing grocery shopping and preparing for big events, it can be a very stressful experience. Let's talk about a few ways to make grocery shopping a more grateful experience. First, I like to express gratitude that I can go grocery shopping. Being able to be physically mobile and get to a grocery store is something that we often take for granted. Also, when I look down at my cart, I give thanks that I have the money to be able to purchase these items. When I'm going through the checkout, I don't have to worry about my card being declined or there not being enough money in my bank account. I give thanks that I'm able to pay for these groceries. And it's also important to express gratitude for those working in our grocery stores. These are some of the busiest times of the year and people can get very stressed, especially with Black Friday coming up. Let's make sure that we're giving thanks to those who serve us while we're at the grocery store. Take a moment to say thank you for the person that you see restocking the shelves or look your cashier in the eye and say thank you as they check out your groceries. Your words of gratitude can have a massive impact on someone's day when they may be used to only getting negative and impatient comments from customers. When you get home, it may be overwhelming to put all the groceries away and prepare for the upcoming festivities. I love to take a moment once my fridge is full and pause, giving thanks that my fridge is full of food and that I have everything I need to prepare many delicious meals for myself and my family. You can do this at any moment. Open your door of your fridge and instead of staring at it and thinking there's nothing to eat, shift your perspective and be grateful for all that there is in your fridge. We know that there are many, many people going through difficult times this year whose fridges are mostly empty most of the time. If you're lucky enough to have a fridge full of food, open the door with gratitude every single time. And what about your pantry? There was a time when I didn't have a pantry. We didn't have a lot of extra for groceries, so we kept our pantry fairly empty. I would use what I could and then refill when there was a sale. Now when I look at my pantry and I see it full of food, it reminds me of how abundant our lives are. Like many people, we've noticed how much groceries have increased over the past year, and we've been making different decisions on how we purchase, store, and eat our food. When I look at my pantry, I'm filled with gratitude that there is food on the shelves and lots of different options for me to use when I'm being creative. These simple strategies around preparing for the holidays can help to reduce our overwhelm and put us in a mood of gratitude before we even get started. When we show up with our gratitude practices intact, it helps others around us to feel more grateful. It would be wonderful for the Thanksgiving spirit to be shared all year round, and you can use these practices when grocery shopping, not only at this time of year, but anytime you set foot in a grocery store. In summary, as you're preparing for the upcoming holiday or doing your weekly grocery shopping, Take a moment to be grateful for everything in your cart. Say a silent thank you when your debit or credit card works at the cash register and make eye contact and say thank you for those that you see while you're shopping. I'll be back tomorrow for a special Thanksgiving Day episode. See you then. This concludes today's gratitude practice. Thanks for joining me and I hope you take a moment to implement something you've learned today. I have a favor to ask. 
Would you mind rating and reviewing this podcast? Doesn't matter which podcast app you're using, every rating helps other people to find this podcast and help them make their decision when choosing which podcast to listen to. I appreciate your support, friends, and I'm excited. I appreciate your support, friends, and thanks so much for taking the time to listen and rating the podcast. I'll be back tomorrow with another way to practice gratitude.